Hey there, I'm Celia, a French freelance illustrator and full-time designer. Welcome in this new studio vlog. These past few weeks, I created some new holographic stickers. I designed some new earrings and get back to gouache painting. You may be familiar with this audio tape design because it looks a lot like one of my lino print design. I really like it, so I decided to create an holographic design from it. I'm creating my sticker design on Procreate and printing them online with Sticker Mule. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's really shiny and the holographic colors are amazing. They'll be available in September on my online shop. I can't wait to show you all my new products. Last time I tested shrinking paper and I loved how the earrings looked, so I wanted to try some new designs. I did some sketches on Procreate and I printed them so I can use the transparency of the shrinking paper to trace them. I'm using Posca markers to trace and fill the designs. I did something too complicated for the dagger, so I'm simplifying it a lot. This step is really satisfying because you have to draw some huge drawings before it will shrink. I'm trying to organize designs on my sheet to not lose too much space between the creations. I really love the flame design, so I'm trying two new versions of it. I'm cutting all my design and doing some holes to attach to the J walls. And when the shapes are ready, I'm putting them in my oven. The oven part is still my favorite because you can watch the paper shrinks under your eyes. Once the tiny designs are cold enough, I'm adding some UV resin on top of them. I don't know if you can see it, but before the UV resin, we can see the texture of the Posca paint on top of the earrings. When the UV resin is applied, it helps to smooth this texture. I did a mess when I applied the resin on the lollipop, but most of them are quite well covered. And now it's all super shiny! After a few days, after the UV is well dried, I can finally assemble the earrings. It's a bit tricky and time consuming, but it's really satisfying to see the end result. I really love the daggers and the tiny flames. After a few days of vacation, I went back and I wanted to do some gouache painting. I have an old sketch in my sketchbook that I want to paint. The design is quite simple, but it helps me to exercise my gouache painting. I tried a new color palette which wasn't risky except for the yellow. I set up my masking tape and I can start to paint.
The result is a bit more messy than expected, but it was cool to get back to gouache quite gently. And this is the end of this studio vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!